there, it's Nabila with MailMent and today I'm going to show you how you can create button click pop-up forms using MailMent's custom lead form feature. So let's get started. To use the button click pop-up form in MailMent, you need to have the P and Pro plugin installed and activated on your WordPress dashboard. I've already done that and now I'm going to show you how you can create this. Let's go to the forms tab. So if I go here, you can see that I have already created a form for you. So the form is lead form and if I click on it, it takes me to the settings and I have assigned this lead form to a specific list which is new leads. All right. So what I'm going to do is scroll down and then click on form type, then change the form layout to pop up. Now you will see that another option appear here which is do you want to make the pop-up form appear on a button click so basically what this says is if i want to place my pop-up form to a specific button and then i want my users to click on the button and then i want the pop-up form to appear for them to fill up all right so if i want that i have to enable this option so you can also check the tool tip to see what it says now i'm simply going to enable this button and you can see that uh, an option appear which is the button text so if I write something here, let's say click on the button. So whatever you write in the button text will show up in the button where you place the form. All right. So now I'm simply going to update the form once again. And then I'm going to go back and create a page or a post where I want to add the form. All right. So I already have created a page for you. Let's say newsletter. All right. So here I'm going to simply add a short code. Now, if I go back to the form and copy the short code, and then simply I need to paste the short code here. So I also want to mention that whatever theme you're using, the button design will be compatible to it. And you can also change it using custom CSS. So I'm going to show you that a bit later. Let me show you in the front end how it looks currently. All right. So let's preview this. And currently I'm using the Bloxy theme and you can see that the button is compatible with the theme that I'm using. So let me show you how it appears if I change the theme. So let's go to my theme and you can see that my current active theme is Bloxy. So if I change it to let's say Hestia theme. So if I activate this and then I go back to my page and refresh this you'll see that the button is compatible with the current theme as well. And if you click on the button, you can see the form has appeared and you can add your information to it. So let's try one. Let's see Nabila. If I submit this, you can see the form has been submitted successfully. Now, so if I go back to my page, so now I'm going to show you how you can use the custom CSS in order to change your button style other than your theme. Now what I'm going to do is click on inside the short code. Then I'm going to write a button class. Let's say CSS. Then I'm simply going to update this. Now I'm going to go to my theme settings. And since I'm using Hestia theme here, I'm simply going to click on customize. So once I do that, you'll see an option here, which is additional CSS. So if you go inside it, you can see there is an option to add your code. So I will add my code custom CSS here. All right. So I have already written some code for you. I'm simply going to paste this. And I'm simply going to publish it. Okay. So let's go to our front end and then refresh this. And you'll see that the button style has changed. All right. So if I click on this again, my form has appeared here. So if you want to use different button styles for your button click pop up forms, you can easily do that with custom CSS. So here's how you can create button click pop up forms using the MailMint's lead form feature in order to collect your leads effortlessly. That's it for today. I'll see you in my next video.